Hello Libra, this is going to be your third party reading for December 2019. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm doing great. So this is going to be a third party reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Wherever you resonate with Libra, it could be your Venus, your Mars, I don't know. It's up to you. It's your reading, Libra. You do what you want. These cards are flying though, so you guys have been waiting <laughs> for your reading. Okay. So your cards are flying. I'm going to take these because they just like flew out. All right. So Libra, um, if you are interested in any of the services or products I offer, make sure you go to my website. I am going to start doing yearly readings. I took a break from um, letting you guys book them because I was getting really booked up. Um, so I'm going to finish the ones that I have and, and then I'm going to put the yearly readings back up. So if you want to get um, a yearly reading, I will be doing those throughout December. I'll be book getting those booked. So if you want one, make sure you book in December, okay? Um, doing paid uh, love predictions on Mondays, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're interested in that, that's like the only kind of way to get a personal with me. I am doing reading specials on my Instagram, though. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know about all that stuff. And I also do free readings on Instagram on Thursdays at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to get a free reading, you can follow me on Instagram. Okay, so that's all the stuff I need to say right now. I'm sure I need to say more stuff, but um, make sure you like, comment, and share, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. There we go. So we have the Nine of Swords for you, Libra, the Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords for your person, okay? You and your person. For your person, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So your person has went through some sort of change in their life, or they're going through they're receiving an opportunity to have a new life. So they could be going through some sort of transition in their own personal life. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Stars. Okay. And we have the Ten of Cups energy. Okay. So in the extended, we'll look at this, this uh, energy here. But I can tell you your extended is going to be good. I'll tell you that from the cards that I'm seeing. We'll talk about the outcome in the extended. Um, but as of right now, we have the Nine of Swords. So your person is viewing you as the Nine of Swords. So this person could know that they're causing you some sort of stress and anxiety, okay, with the Nine of Swords. Or they're having stress and anxiety about you. The reason being is for some of you, you could be... Um, a lot of you could just be focusing on your work a lot and this is making this person nervous because they could be thinking that you're dealing with another person but for some of y'all y'all actually are dealing with somebody else you either are you have your own person anyway or you have started dating or and you have options and love and this person is nervous about that yep two of wands and the nine of wands you probably started dating you started went out going out with other people you've put your guards up against this person for some of you though i feel like y'all just working a lot and this person thinks you're out but some of you may actually be out Okay, let's see. This person is with, an, if they're with someone else, um, they are five of pentacles, five of swords. That's, that's, so is this an ex here that they have in their life that wants them back or they want, mm, some of y'all could be done with an Aquarius. No, this is someone that they want things to be over with. Okay, so your person could be married, Libra. You could be married to a, um, um, they could be married to a Aries, Taurus, Aquarius. Lord, what other signs are here? That's the only signs I see so far. Taurus energy is here, but I think I already said that, yeah. So this is someone that they are longing to be done with. Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords star and the ten of wands that's longing to be done with somebody in my opinion the ten of wands is giving up on a situation yeah higher opinion. this is a marriage so they could be married your person's most likely married for a lot of you okay they seem though to either be going through a divorce so this is a long drawn out divorce here or this is just a marriage that just they want to be over and done with yeah fool this is just at the top of the deck they want to be done with that this is why they have the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you, this is a divorce that's been drawing out. Like it's been taking a long time or taking, if it's not a divorce, it's a long-term relationship that's been taking a long time. Yeah, this person wants to go out. They want to be free. Three of Cups, Knight of Wands. They also want to reconcile. That's a reconcile. Yeah, they, I think they want to reconcile with you because I'm already seeing reconciliation energy up here with you and your person. Let's see. They may have to travel to come see you. For some of you, there's a distance thing here. What's this Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands? Some of you, if you're a fire sign, they want to rec they want to reconcile with you, Aries, Leo, Sag. Clarify this one more time. 
They think your sex is bomb. Fire signs. Three. Moon. Okay, one more. World. Yeah, they want it. Okay, yeah, this is a giving me the same message. Again, the same four cards is giving me the same message the whole reading. So again, they want to leave a situation, but they don't know when this is going to end. Some of you are done with a Cancer, with the Moon card here. It could be a Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or a Leo, okay? Um, yeah, this person is like unsure when things are going to end. So this could be because there's court in involved. I'm surprised. Yeah, the Eight of Swords here. This person feels trapped. They want a reconciliation with you, Libra, but they feel trapped because something in their life is ending, but they're not sure when it's actually going to be over with. It's Yeah, it's something that they've been wanting to be over with. I'm really surprised the Justice card hasn't fell out yet because this definitely feels like a divorce or a child support situation or something like that. It's, it definitely feels logistical and it feels like something they don't want to be a part of anymore. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Yep, Tower and the Ace of Swords definitely feels divorce energy. Some of you could be a fire sign. You're a Leo though, Aries, Leo, Sag. Maybe they found, maybe this um, other partner here, whether they're married or they've just been committed to this person for a long time, okay? They don't have to be married to this person. It's just when you have cards like the Hierophant coming up, that's a pretty big marriage card. So for some of y'all, that is the situation. The Ten of Cups could mean they have children with this person though, or they just have had a long-term commitment. Um, I feel that they may have found out about you, Libra, and this this person, this third party, and they're trying to make it hard for your person to leave to get because they know they're going to be with you. So you're you, so your person's dealing with a third party who may be dragging things out, the, dragging the ending out, so that you they can't be with you, Libra. Okay, you may be unaware of this, and this could be why you're stressed out. Okay, but this is what tarot readings are for, right? Give me one more card. Like all the tea is down here. It's all the tea. Four of Pentacles. See? What'd I say? They're trying to hold on to your person, the Four of Pentacles. They're trying to hold on to your person. The third party is trying to hold on to your person. Yep. Because your person is the, is a husband. He's a good provider. He's a good father. Whatever it is. He's most... It's, the Emperor, the reason why is because this of what this person can do. What your person can do for them, Libra. It's not... Or because they have a family together. Which, I mean... Yeah, but... Mm. If someone who doesn't want to be in a situation, they shouldn't have to be in a situation. People can still parent outside of relationships. And this needs to be a thing. It needs to be normalized more that people can, don't have to be in marriages to be, you know, in families. It doesn't have to work that way. They don't have to be actual this. It doesn't have to be this cookie cutter situation. You know, children can get love in a lot of different ways. So. Whatever it is, this person is holding on. I think it's possibly for a financial reason. Your person is a good provider or your person is a father of their children. Whatever, okay? But all that's coming to an end. Tower. Something's done happen. They found out about you, Libra, or Crosswatcher, because I know y'all still watching, even though it's Libra's reading. So they found about you, Crosswatcher. Somebody was found out about, and now it's like this third party is like, oh, no, you're not about to go be with so-and-so. You're not about to go be with Libra. I'm keeping you. But little do they know from this extended that I'm, from what I'm seeing, I haven't seen their outcome card, but from their, what I'm seeing in the city, no, mm -mm, that ain't it. No, ma'am. And we got the Ace of Cups staring at me right in the face. And if you guys are dating other people, it's bothering them. This person, Libra, your person, if you are dating others with the Five of Wands, if you're creating competition in your love life, like getting your options open or cross watcher, if you're getting your options open, it's this person's paying attention is for some of y'all a lot. Okay. Um, this person may be a little obsessed with your social media or watching you or something like that. Um, I'm seeing, so yeah, they could be watching you or thinking about the good times that you guys had together. Okay. Um, I'm seeing some sort of change happening between Capricorn and Sagittarius season, but you know, obviously the flipped way around Sagittarius and Capricorn season. Could be some sort of change or is this change could be happening in Sagittarius season. Some positive shift with you and this person. And it could be because you are, they're like, uh-uh, um, Libra, where you think you're going? Okay, you're mine. Like, I know you thought just because I had to deal with this drama over here that we wasn't, nah, I'm gonna need you to come on over back over here. 
So this is definitely a good uh, segue into the extended because we got to see what's going to play out. I see already you and this person coming out of conflict. So that, if you want to know, spoiler alert. Um, but I definitely want to see what's going on down here because this third party ain't going out without a fight. Ring the alarm. I've been through this too long. I'll be damned if I see another on your arm. That's what this person is. Yeah, they in their, in their car blasting that song right now. And we going to... Um, get into another deck in the extended a pool again for different cards and see what else is going to be coming for you guys we've gotten some 2020 energy so far in most of the extended so of course we'll probably get that for you guys 2020 is like right there so uh make sure you join me over there the link is on top of the comments or in the description box okay love you libra see you over there bye